Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on inverse normal distribution in distribution mode on a Casio FX CG50. We have the random variable x which is normally distributed with a mean of 75 and a variance of 7 squared and we have to find the value of a, b and c such that and then we are given some different probabilities to try and find these values. Now we're going to be using the distribution mode on the Casio FX CG50, which was introduced in 2022. From the main menu, scroll down and select I distribution. For this question, we need the normal distribution. So scroll down and select that option. For part A, we're looking for the probability that X is less than a, some value that we need to find, and that that equals 0.25. So the probability equals 0.25, which value will give us that probability? As we are looking for less than, we want the lower tail. And remember, because the normal distribution is continuous, then less than and less than or equal to are used interchangeably. Less than is the default tail, so I'm just going to leave that as it is. Now x will actually be what we're looking for, that's going to be the value of a that we need to find. But we're going to do that once we've got the graph produced for this particular distribution. So I'm just going to leave that as well zero, but that will change later when we answer the question. Let's input sigma, which is the standard deviation. Well that's seven, Remember the distribution shows us the variance, seven squared, and then mu is the mean, which is 75. Let's execute. You can see the graph of our distribution here. What we need to do is to navigate right so that we highlight the probability. Now we know this from the question. It is 0 0.25, so let's input that and press execute. And then you can see that a value has been generated within the probability space there. X is less than or equal to 70.278, which also means X is less than 70.278. And that is the value of A that we need to find for this question. Staying within the graph feature to answer part B, we need to find the probability where X is greater than B equaling 0.6. We need to change the tail for this, so press Option and then press F4 to select the upper tail. What's happened currently is we've just switched direction, but we still have the X value from part A in currently, but we're going to change this by changing the probability. So we need to alter the probability value to 0.6 and press Execute. And you can see here that the X value has changed. This time now it's 73.226, so that is the value for B. Finally, for part C, we need to approach this in a slightly different way. We do want the lower tail again, so let's press F2 as we still have the options up here to switch back to lower tail. Now let's put the lower bound of the values that we have for X in there, so 71. Just make sure you're in the right place there. X is less than or equal to 71. So make sure you've got the right box highlighted and input 71. And here we have a probability 0.2838. Now what's actually highlighted there is a region that we don't actually want. But in order to get to the correct value of C, we will need to add this result onto 0.5 to find the correct value of X for C. And we can do that within the app. If you navigate right, and let's change the probability now, you need to be careful. What we're going to do is we're going to add 0.5 and this value together. So 0.5 plus 0.2838. We can just copy it as it's still highlighted here above our entry box. Press execute. You can see now that the probability value has changed to 0.7838. 
as has the value of x. We've now got 80.495. This is our value of c. If you can imagine finding this value, this probability of 0 0.7838, and taking off the region that was below 71, 0 0.2838, then the region in between that you're left with is 0 0.5, which is exactly what we'll, we were looking for. So a slightly different way of approaching that question, but we are still able to do it within the distribution feature of the Casio FX CG50. So there we go, how we can find inverse normal distribution values once we know the probabilities using the distribution feature on the Casio FX CG50. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time on The Calculator Guide.